All right, it is day five. So we made it back to starting track. We actually got in decent time last night. It was around seven o'clock. The drive was, the roads and everything yesterday were actually the best of the week. Like the, the checkpoints were better. Like I said, we got in about seven o'clock last night, uh, walked downtown, had, had a bite to eat, a couple drinks, and here we are this morning getting ready to go. We want to put a, uh, want to put a decent tune up in there to try and get down the track first. And then provided that that goes well, um, then maybe come back and try and turn it up more and then make a second hit with it um, just to see just see what it'll do. I mean, it's basically go back to the beginning of the week and during the week. Like this came in with changes to the car and everything and trying to get the car back to where it was. And uh, and we've got that. We're back to we're back to ground zero basically with the car running where it normally would run at. Um, now we see if those changes help for it to where it can actually go faster than it did before, which is uh, what we're hoping for. So best time on the car ever is a 6.39. Um, so we will see. I don't, I don't know that we will, don't know that we will hit that, but um, goals to possibly get close to that. Maybe, uh, maybe down in the 640s with it if we can today, so. So I've now done these drag and drive events every year for, since they started and uh you know you get to it's a weird feeling so usually uh, yesterday it's the first time i or i noticed it and said something time i said oh i said you know we kind of got to that kind of got to that uh casual spot where it's like all right you're just kind of like you're kind of like monday you're on edge tuesday you're on edge wednesday you're still on edge and then after you make it to the day four and we're uh, loading everything up and it's kind of like eh, all right you just see your pace slows down everything just slows down and and so you make it to the last day and uh, you know it's pretty casual pace right now so uh, the engines good nothing's broke uh, that I know of yet I think everything's all set so I think we're gonna go up there and make a good pass Lord willing and uh, I'm hoping everybody makes good passes here Hey guys, have you subscribed to Sick the Mag? You know it's a magazine for the drag and drive community. Get over to sickthemag.com, subscribe now. It's more like a book than a magazine actually. See you later. So last night, uh, when we got it all back together, it was intake came off as you saw when flying through the air, I don't know how high. My favorite picture out there by the way is the intake and literally three birds next to it. And somebody posted said something like uh, that old saying of killing two birds with one stone is killing three birds with one intake manifold. Uh, after all the air leaks were cured, we put it back together with some RTV and some duct tape, fired up and then we taped the hood back together because it was in two pieces and we limped down the mountain 50 miles an hour from wherever the heck we were yesterday, Aiken, South Carolina, down here to Darlington. Um, the headlights kept blinking out all night long, which was driving us crazy because the hood pushes in and there's these connectors. But with the hood broken, it was an intermittent connector. So we put a piece of rope and my passenger would have to give the rope a tug when the lights went out, put the lights back on. So it was a long ride last night, but we were so happy to pull it out. And this morning we come out to start, it was like, fingers crossed, please start up. Because imagine making it all this way and dying in the hotel parking lot, you know. Uh, so seven hours of sleep last night, food, beverage. I am feeling like a new man today, but we can only break the beams. We literally have a duct tape intake manifold, so we're on vacuum only. We're going to go out there. We want to complete the event, so I'll roll down the track, full gear. I'll be, I'm going to say a 25, maybe a 27 second pass, maybe 30. And then we're going to get our time slip and say we finished drag week. So we're really excited. I'm telling you, they're, they're the rock stars of the weekend, more so than us. I mean, that, what they had all breaking and going on and doing there's but a few people in the world tom i know tom would not quit either that's pretty apparent i would have <laughs> if my wagon would blow the top manifold off there and tear the front end off the car i'm telling you right now i would probably go home then pulls it all back on there duct tapes it on and, and takes off so uh pretty hardcore they're gonna be uh and i think that that whole car and those guys because given what they did today or uh this week and track you know trucking through and just just bustling through it uh they're gonna be hard they're gonna be the ones to watch i gave them all sorts of crap i said i'm i'm hunting i'm really really trying to be the second car to go 590s in a dragon drive with a wagon because that'd be pretty a big deal but and i told them i said I'm, I'm pretty sure you're gonna beat me, because <laughs> that car's bad. They got the right mentality. 
they muscle through stuff and they're gonna make it happen so you ran ridiculously quick yesterday and we'd already left because I didn't think you were gonna go out again yeah well I had everything put away basically to leave my um, racing suit helmet was all in the trailer and getting ready to leave and Ryan's like we could go faster you know I mean we had a the, uh, in, inside power shut off malfunction and shut me off at five seconds into that run it still went a 687 so it, it didn't take much I guess to talk me into it I mean my father-in-law had already left which kind of sucked because he thought we were done too and there's only about four people in the stands to see us run so so, but it put us back behind a little bit, but hell, it was it was worth it. it we, we found out a few things about the car, so you know, it's got to clean up the tune up a little bit and see if we can go a little bit faster. So, I went a six sixty two at almost two eighteen, and I don't know. Everybody was talking about the short shutdown, but it seemed normal to me. I mean, we just that was on the brakes and through the chutes, you know, right on time, and it, it stopped fine. I was going 240 though I mean that headwind yeah it, it ran great I mean he said he, he heard it up the top end stumbling but I, I didn't feel it like I did yesterday so he had to make somewhat of the right choices because it wasn't as bad as yesterday we didn't get any more mile an hour either but it's, I don't know what this headwind is but it's got to be 30 mile an hour whenever whenever you go your fastest it's always the straightest run you've ever made and the easiest run so it was it was pretty easy run car ran good for sure now time to step it up a little bit and see if we can go faster we made it, so uh, in my opinion, we already won. Everybody that just drove their stuff in here under their own power is a winner. And I'm not much for participation trophies, but really they are. It's, everybody's a winner right now. Everybody that drove back in here is a winner. This is, uh, this is a different type of racing that I think everybody should do, you know? So, but we're um, changing plug wires. We burnt a few up and um, getting the car ready to make a hit. I think we're, I think we're leading our class, which is cool. Uh, I know we're in the top three because we're an impound. So we'll take that. Um, and I think we're, I think right now we're third overall. So as long as we can cobble something together and get down the racetrack, if we can keep a third overall, uh, I'll take it, you know. Tom Bailey's, you know, the king of this stuff. Brian Goldstone, another, you know, we'll call him the prince, right? You know, um, uh, third one and two, and then I think we're sitting number three right now overall. So uh, on a 275 stock suspension Mustang, so. If we can do it, you can do it. Get your stuff together, come out. And uh, I think Sunday is registration for Sick Week. So um, no, Tom doesn't pay me, but it's an awesome event. So uh, you should come out to that one and it's in Florida. So it's a lot of cool stuff and you get to travel on the beach. So hopefully we can put something together and we can win this thing. Should have started with the Rockingham tune. Oh, uh, gotcha. So you messed up yesterday again? Yeah, so it was only 26 pounds of boost anyway, so gotcha. it was only probably gonna go 670 at best anyway. So gotcha. Now I'm just starting with the Rockingham tune, just getting after just a little bit more to see if we can get to go a little bit faster, a little more aggressive. Somewhere between uh 655 and 670 is like enough to, to win. Lock it up. So. See, this is where I'm thinking. I want to go faster than all these guys here by a lot. So I probably can't, probably be a little hard pressed to beat Ned's uh, 640, 236. So Tom is really playing a conservative, and I'm more like, oh no, oh, let's go. Something isn't right. 
right in there. So we got to pull the bob covers off and look. I got the, I primed it up and got it to start down there. And uh, um, and there's a rattle in there. I don't know if it's just valve train, like a rocker came off. I'm not sure what happened. So, I mean, that's, I had to pedal the thing three times down track because, I mean, it kept going towards the wall or whatever. So I let off the gas to get the front tire down to like steer it over and then get back in the gas again. But it damn near shook the tires off or whatever at the launch. And then, and then I started the lift to get it to go through it. And then as soon as it went through it, then I hit the gas again. And then that's when it started coming towards the wall. And then, like I said, I pedaled it down. I mean, it was definitely doing, at some point in time, it was definitely doing 220 plus because the front end only caves in like that when you're doing 220. So where it rips the front grill off. So we'll see, I mean, luckily, luckily a 670, I mean, maybe we can go up again. Maybe it's something simple like a rocker arm. Not sure exactly what it is, but uh, other than that, do um, you see anything? I knocked the rocker arm off of it, so a push rod came out of the cup. And it's on the other side of the engine, the side that we didn't have to do anything with. So I'll uh, check the lip, put a push rod rocker back in it and see if it's some kind of weird deal. What is it? Is it beaver doggo? I think it's like 
Oh in. God. <laughs> sugar. You were having? We might arm wrestle for these. <laughs> these are addictive. Oh my God. Yeah. Had a few little issues. The first day we went out and uh, broke the fuel pump. So that put us back a little bit. The track wasn't quite as good as the second time. At the second time, so we had to take a little power out of it. Um, day two, we're one and done. That was our best run. Uh, day three, Bristol track was a little slick, so we had to take some power out of it again. Um, I think we made two runs there. First one was aborted. Second run, we were running decent, so loaded up, packed up. Um, and yesterday we were one and done, so went second fastest pass yesterday. Um, so we're today we're going same tune up in it, and after that we're going to get after a little bit and see if we. I keep that at least run 200 mile an hour anyway so other than the fuel pump and we've changed the oil and the spark plugs that's all we've done to it all week so we changed the oil on wednesday night i think just a preventative thing um, put some fresh spark plugs in it today and that's pretty much it that's all we've done to it we've been doing this drag and drive stuff for a few years now and it all just happens you know it's kind of a cliche but it always ha all happens at the shop you know just try to be prepared for anything we can and just make sure everything is tight and nothing can come loose and I think being the modular motor is a little more reliable you know because everybody else has to worry about their valve train uh, whereas I don't have that issue with this thing I don't have to adjust the valves every morning or evening or whatever so um, I think that helps too and it's luck too you know it's just luck, sheer luck you know it's, we've had it before where you know, we get to the hotel and take a shower and get back out in the car and go to the racetrack, you know, not even get any sleep. So we just, you know, some of it's luck for sure. Honestly, not sure, but I think the transmission's got an issue. So we're gonna go out and change it, make one more run, and see if we can't put, you know, Bailey in. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, cause Steve's over here laughing, so. <laughs> I had two shitty days and gave Tom a couple free ones. Well, it was tough though, because I mean, I kept, it was, took everything in me to let off early every single day. Every single day. To like, right, just post right. through, throw the shoots early. I did everything I, I could. Early every single day. <laughs> Well, he, he let out early the other day, and I wondered if he left his balls at home, but, but then I was like, I was like, well, I'll just go out here and go 218 and, you know. <laughs> He's probably afraid. You should probably hire a new driver for your car. That way, that way, can, that way he can do all the management stuff of his, you know, the sick this, sick that stuff. And <laughs> Car's ready to go to make another run. They're close right now. Because of uh, some rain sprinkling, it's supposed to come in heavier rain here soon. So I think that um, Brian thinks his transmission's gone. So I think that we're safe in the position that we're in. So I think just going to go ahead and turn in the slip. And and really, if some more cars get their own, I don't want to take their time running by me going up and making call it a victory lap or whatever at that point and try and do a number. So, um, but. We did get turned around. We did have a rocker arm come off, but like that's all good. So literally ready to roll if need be. So, but that'll probably be a wrap. I think I'll turn my time slip in. I'll, I will confirm first that Bryant turns his time slip in before I make sure before I turn mine in. So uh, because I don't want any trickery because I can still get back up there and make another pass. So somebody told me he'd have to run like a 42. So um, and whatever not sure 
not sure if there's a 42 in that car. I mean, that's um, the. I mean, the 56 he did earlier was just awesome, and he went back up there again and did a 60, 64 or something. So I mean, that's uh, just awesome. I mean, I'm I'm happy for him that that car's coming around and it's running so good. And I mean, great competition all week. Uh, um, going back and forth with it. So, I mean, always great time. Finally got a seven, so I wasn't expecting to go that fast. We've been turning it down all week just trying to get it to leave, and it finally hooked today and went a lot faster than I thought it was. So it's in a soft tune, so it's exciting. There's a lot of room in this thing to go up. to make another pass to make it six but you know i misjudged the tune and track wouldn't hold it so uh, we we're gonna work on some more hopefully uh this rain goes away and we can make an afternoon session i really want to get a six today you know that would be that would be excellent um you know six isn't that far away and you know someday maybe a five you know but uh baby steps obviously it takes me a long i'm a slow learner it takes me a long time to get there Monday, but as much troubles and struggles as we had, we're gonna take it. We uh, we ran us at 836 at 163, so I'm 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 happy. My, I've, I've overworked my friend Sean for it, but he's happy. We're happy, so we're gonna try to make another pass. We push some oil out, but we we're gonna try to make another pass if the rain holds off, and we'd like to better this by by a little bit. So fingers crossed, the rain holds off, and we can get back out there.
so range cleared up so everything's still racing here we are done uh turned in the time slip and everything but they got a 10 second bracket race going on so quick 32 or i think the 32 fastest qualifiers of that 10 second class and they'll have at it and so we'll see what happens there
I will show you the finals of the stick shift shooter. running out of fuel on the big end so um, if I have to mess around in the staging lanes too long then it gets a front fuel cell too low and then I'll run out of fuel at the back half so we went a 740 with no fuel popping banging and uh, in the rain we brought a new car with crazy horsepower engine and an awesome new chassis build that weighs 4200 pounds capable of running six seconds and um, we average 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 every day. So um, not being licensed, I ran too fast every day and uh, got penalized. Um, it's good being the bad boy, I can tell you that much. I think it's time for a celebration drink. Let's go have a, uh, let's go have a mixer and cheer it up, mate. Did you hand your time slip in? I'm gonna go take it back if they're gonna make another run. It doesn't look like it's gonna rain. I don't know, I wasn't worried about the rain. I didn't want to work on my car. <laughs> Over it. So we came in here to a gear vendor's motorhome because we needed to get out of the sound. So, and so you can see the data log. So the pass that you just saw, uh, the last pass of the day, the pass that just won us drag week for the sixth time. Is it sixth time? Yep. Sixth time. Overall champion. Anyways, uh, so the pass was actually relatively decent. It paddled the tire just a little bit. Um, so it drove the car to the right. And I'll give them credit. Chicken foot time actually needed to be a little bit of a sissy out there because you don't need to put the car into the wall. So he was lifting from, he started lifting at uh, 2.5 seconds out. <laughs> he started lifting. And uh, so he was just trying to feather the pedal and trying to keep it off the guardrail. He totally lifted at about six four. So all things said and done, it probably would have. Well, it should have been that six fifty pass is what we were looking for. Um, wasn't, but everything's good. Uh, we were gonna go back out and make another pass if we needed to. Didn't need to. Bryant made a really good pass, uh, but we still won. So. Tom's like, all right, cool, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty casual about it. So I was like, all right, I'm fine. On her five year anniversary, she came back and won again. And now on her 10 year anniversary, she came back and won. So know that like, internet people, this is 1.0. This isn't the car that ran a five. 2.0 is a five second car. This 639 is the fastest this car has been. Um, and I feel like we're right there that like that that 670 pass if I didn't have to pedal it so much to get the front end down to steer it That might have been a 640 pass like in the 640s. It'd be a high 640 pass, but um Not sure it was it was for sure a 650 pass. So um, I was out early shirts shoots were out early So I mean that's I ended up actually not even getting off the track because I felt like maybe I was in Carolina yesterday and through the shoot so damn early that uh Ended up having to push the damn thing off the track, but um, so all well and good. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been a great week. So see ya. See you at sick week. Yeah, see you at sick week. So everybody, registration. Sick, sick there you go. Entry. Sick week registration is this Sunday. It goes live 9 a.m. 
I don't know the time. Luke, what time does it go live? Oh, 9 a.m. if you're on the expression of interest list and 10 a.m. for general public. On the 10th anniversary of his first Drag Week win, his sixth Drag Week win with an average of 671, Tom Bailey is your overall winner. Tom Bailey and Steve Morris. I'm so glad this has turned into what it is. 31 different Drag and Drive events this year, including all of the ones created by Tom Bailey, who just won overall on his 10th anniversary. That is a wrap on the Gear Vendors Hot Rod Magazine Drag Week 2023. Oh. I'm Steve Morris, Steve Morris Engines. Go to my YouTube channel, Steve Morris Engines. Like, subscribe, share, buy Steve Morris Engines merch. Anything else to Steve Morris. Have a great day.